Hi guys, I'm Shmi and welcome to the pit lane, the fabulous Estoril circuit in Portugal where we're here today for the launch of the new Pirelli P0 tyre and that means a pretty exciting track day with a lot of very, very special cars today. So we're going to take a quick look now at what cars are here. We're going to talk about the technicalities of the tyre of course because let's face it, that's the reason we're down here and then it looks like it's going to be a little afternoon of driving out on the track. So as a circuit totally new to me, but quite an exciting period because just yesterday I actually visited Spa in Belgium in the morning, the Nürburgring in Germany at lunchtime, and then flew down here to Portugal to visit Estoril. So I'm very excited to be down here with Pirelli. Of course, it's been an interesting week from Pirelli all around because my various cars I'm currently running Pirelli tyres that I've been driving recently. The FF, I've used Soto Zero tyres over winter and on my McLaren 675LT, I've been driving it on the Trofeo R, their sort of race-inspired road tyre. But let's take a quick look down this line and see what cars are here. The line kicks off with the Adventador LP700 Pirelli edition, we've got the McLaren 570S, we have Rimax Concept 1 full electric cars, quite special too. As we keep coming down, we've got a couple of the new R8s, the V10 Pluses, the carbon wing. Of course, all of these cars are running on the uh, the new Pirelli P0 tyre that you can see with a nice tyre striping too, which obviously makes them look rather good. As we get here, if I can just get around the back here, we've got two Lamborghini Huracan LP580s, the rear-wheel drive Huracan, of course. So I'm certainly hoping I can get a drive in one of those later. That's a, a rather exciting car, two of those. The safety cars, the RA V10 Plus. We've got two 911 Turbo S's here. All wheel drive. Being led by the safety car teams of the AMG GTS's. And then finally two Ferrari 488 GTB's, the red and white, again behind the AMG GTS at the front. So, this is a rather special lineup of cars. Let me go and find out what I'm able to do today. Another arrival just now, the Pagani Huayra BC, a car that of course was released at the Geneva Motor Show last month. This is an example here of the proper supercars with the Corsa tyre. And I suppose, well, I'm going to be filming with that later, so stay tuned for that. But that leads me on to taking you inside, where we'll talk a little bit about the tyres, because that is why we are here. So Pirelli have updated for this year the P0, and there are two different versions and P0 Corsa. We've got examples of the two P0s here. Ah, uh, hey look, Horatio Pagani's just over there. But the two P0 tyres, right. First up, we have the Lamborghini tyre, the Lamborghini P0. The two versions, the sports car version and the luxury saloons version. They have different tread patterns. The sports car, of course, has the outer sidewall aimed more towards lap times, normal tyre, there's the outer side wall aimed more towards comfort. They showed us a lovely presentation um, explaining all of this and the differences even between the manufacturers. Quite significant, significant amounts depending what they're going for. Ferrari, for example, it's about lap, um, lap times. Um, comparing BMW, Audi, Mercedes, also different characteristics. But you've got the sort of new tyre with new tread patterns and new compounds, new setup, improved in every respect, basically. So in addition to the two P0s, you also have the new P0 Corsa. Now this is particularly interesting because you can see the outer sidewall here um, on a McLaren tyre, this is a 570S tyre, is targeted much more towards lap times and track driving. This is much more towards the sort of Trofeo R style design with only three treads rather than a fourth. Um, and clearly that's quite fun. Um, and the new Corsa is what we're going to be driving on at the track here today. First up for me today is going to be the 670 PS Ferrari 488 GTB. Now I've had a quick drive in the 488 GTB before, but let's just say the conditions were not necessarily ideal. Today is going to be slightly more exciting at Estoril, so let's jump in and go for a little drive. Here we go then, out of the pit lane at Estoril in the 488 GTB with the new P0s. This is hopefully going to be quite an emotional drive. Looking forward to it. We are manual on the paddles. We're in sport mode. It's fixed into sport mode. They don't want us using race. Keep traction on full, but I think that makes sense for a, a first drive in such a car. So, away we go.
definitely be lying if I didn't say this was a pretty intense thing to be doing. Jumping into the 488 and immediately hurtling around Estoril. And the guys in front have quite some pace to them, that's for sure. Um, I'm trying to learn the circuit and trying to think about the car and trying to think about the tyres. And this is pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy but we're back so let's go have a look at what's happening next after driving the 488 gtb i'm going to be jumping into the lp580 the rear wheel drive hurricane but let's just take a moment to reflect on the ferrari of course that was quite a whistle stop moment jumping in and going for a drive but i suppose that's the excitement of it all i have to say pretty impressive running on those new tires um a lot of grip uh, for me obviously driving the car for the first time very very powerful lots of performance available on tap um quite exciting actually i want to drive that car again drive the 488 again um, noise a bit muted, that's always the problem everyone's going to say. Uh, but from a feeling point of view and driving the car, we were pushing on so much harder than I expected for a track I've never driven before. Um, but let's move on to the next one where I'm going to be driving the 580-2. Slightly face lifted, new bumpers, uh, rear wheel drive, slightly less power, still 7 speed gearbox, both cars 7 speed double clutches. Um, and the V10, the naturally aspirated V10. Let's hear it and jump in and go for a drive. Rolling out in the Lamborghini Huracan, following an R8 V10 Plus is our safety car this time round. Very similar cars, of course. This time we've got Lamborghini's compound on the tyres. Out onto the circuit. Those shifts are so fast in this car. shift crackles as we drive back into the pit lane so conclusion on this car what a lot of fun what a lot of fun let's use this opportunity to have a closer look at the rimac concept one research and development vehicle only eight production cars are going to be made and the car that was at the Geneva Motor Show draw quite a crowd to it. It does look so special. And just look at those numbers on the back. 2.6 seconds, 0 to 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour, over a thousand horsepower and a VMAX of 355 kilometers per hour. And a very, very sleek and pretty small package too. It's a tiny, tiny thing. Next to that, 570S, been making a lot of noise today running on the new tyre. Well, everything here is running on the new tyre. That is sort of the point of the day. The Aventador Pirelli edition as well, limited to just 50 cars. So not many of those around. We've also got a Maserati Levante that's appeared. Maserati SUV, of course, new edition. But I'm going to pop up here onto the pit wall where we'll be able to see and hear some of the action with the various cars coming in and out. I do like that aura blue on the R8 Plus there. 
looks wonderful in the sunshine here at Estoril. BC. Yeah. Whoa. Absolutely insane. And one thing I'm going to show you here that we're allowed to see being demonstrated is a sort of live cutting of a development tire. This is sort of an example of how the prototyping process works, how the tires are manually cut. They're painted white so you can get the contrast and the lines. 
when they're cut out, but as you can see, as we go around, cut it all, and this allows for sort of manipulation and testing and all sorts of things. And that's how you start from there. You end up creating these different sort of tires that we looked at earlier. Um, which I suppose I can now have more appreciation for because I've been out in the cars and seen how they work um, real world, how the difference well between the more comfort spec I haven't driven personally on the road today but um, I'm sure I will in the future um, versus what the, uh, the, the sort of track car is, the sports car, sorry, tire is capable of all the way up to the new courses. Um, the courses for my driving today have been a lot of fun. So I guess we'll take a look at what else is going on. Maybe I'll be able to jump into something else this afternoon. The Pyro BC, what a highlight. A truly, truly amazing event so far. without saying that was a pretty crazy day circuit three of three in three days but a wonderful wonderful event here with Pirelli of course the launch of the new P0 tyre it's pretty windy but very sunny and probably a little bit burnt but we have had a spectacular time driving of course for me in the Ferrari 488 GTB and in the Lamborghini Huracan LP 580-2 and then going out for the hot lap in the Pagani Huayra BC what a special day, absolutely lovely, wonderful. Big thanks to Pirelli. Make sure you check out everything. I'll put the links down below. More content, of course, to come from today. The 570S crawls back in behind me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We're gonna continue now with a flight back to Germany to collect my McLaren 675LT. And our adventure carries on heading south through Germany and down towards Italy. So good times coming up. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. Okay, so here we go, P1 time. Got the lift system up already, that's gonna make it easy to get. If Porsche offered me a GT3 RS, I would not take a second to think about buying one. Let's jump in. 